This video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com. VIP SCD Key is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIP SCD Key offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $21. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 20% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or Gcash. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. Hey, what's up guys? Session here. So here's another white gaming PC build featuring the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4070 Aero OC 12G, C790 Aero G, as well as their latest case which is yung Gigabyte C301 Glass White. As always, I'll talk about the parts, build it, and then show you guys how does it look like together. So first on our parts list is the new Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4070 Aero OC 12G graphics card. So this has 12GB of GDDR6X VRAM with 192-bit memory interface. Along with NVIDIA Ada Lovelace architecture which supports technologies like DLSS3, ray tracing, AV1 encode and decode at iba pa. Core clock speed is 2565 MHz and my dual BIOS din ito for overclocking and silent modes. For connectivity naman, we have 3 DisplayPort 1.4A and 1 HDMI 2.1A port. For the design as with Gigabyte's Aero series, syempre white theme ito. Although there's a silver colors on both the front and the back plate. I actually like how it looks minimalist siya and parang premium tingnan due to the brushed metal finish especially with the front plate kung nasaan yung mga fans. In terms of thickness, I think this will occupy around 3 PCI slots, so medyo makapal din. It uses the new 12V high power connector and syempre may RGB pa rin but very minimal lang at the Aero logo part on the side kung nasaan yung PCI power connector. Cooling wise, Gigabyte has their WinForce cooling solution here which has alternate spinning fans so ang effect nito is to reduce turbulence from adjacent fans and increase airflow pressure. There's also the fan stop feature which will turn off the fans when the GPU is in low load or idle. And the fans also has graphene nano lubricant which can extend out the life of the fan by at least 2.1 times which is close to the life of a double ball bearing fan and is also quieter. There's also an airflow pass through sa backplate which allows for hot air to pass for better heat dissipation as well as large copper plate and heat pipes. Next is our motherboard which is the Gigabyte C790 Aero G Creator Motherboard. Being a C790 motherboard, this supports Intel's 13th and 12th generation CPUs as well as DDR5 memory and PCIe Gen 5 support. So there are advanced thermal design solutions for VRM power stability and M.2 SSD stable performance because PCIe Gen 5 SSDs can get hot. There's also USB Type-C 20 gigabits per second, 2.5 gigabit internet, Wi-Fi 6E for connectivity as well as gigabytes Vision Link, which promises only one USB-C port for video, data transfer, and power charging. Of course, being an Aero series product, this one also has white and silver accents spread out across the whole motherboard. So we'll be pairing the motherboard naman with our CPU which is the Intel Core i9-13900K, one of the fastest CPUs in Intel's 13th gen lineup so far. This one has 24 cores overall, 8 performance cores, and 16 efficiency cores as well as max turbo frequency of 5.8 GHz. So ideal for those who are looking for very fast performance both in gaming and content creation or productivity. For the other parts, we'll be using the T-Force Delta RGB DDR5 32GB kit running at 6200 megatransfer per second. While on the CPU cooler naman, we have the Aorus Water Force X360 AIO liquid cooler with customizable LCD display play which is enough then to cool our core i9 CPU. Then on the SSD storage we'll also have the Aros Gen 4 7000S NVMe SSD 1TB. On the power supply we have the Gigabyte UD 1000 PG5 which is a 1000W power supply with 80 plus gold efficiency rating. Fully modular cables and compact and can support new PCI Gen 5 graphics card with its native 16 pin cable or the 12 pin high power that can output up to 600 watts. And last but not the least, syempre ang case na gagamitin natin that will house all of these components which is the Gigabyte C301 White with a striking mesh front panel na parang may brush metal finish. It promises an optimized airflow design. It can support motherboards up to EATX form factor as well as 360mm radiators on the top and the front and vertical GPU installation. May pre-installed din na apat na ARGB fans, may ARGB connector hub built-in which supports RGB fusion as well and 4mm tempered glass side panel. 
Meron din detachable dust filters, USB Type-C port sa I.O. panel at the top, and LED switch para dun sa connected ARGB hub. So I think that's it for the parts na gagamitin natin sa build na to. And now it's time for a quick build montage. Enjoy! So that's it. I think ang ganda ng kanilabasan na build na ito. Black and white team and almost all gigabyte parts and especially with their Aero series, it made the build look more premium. Honestly, there's a lot of demand for white components ngayon and I'm glad that companies are actually responding to it by putting out white color products. And while the Aero series might be targeted actually for creators due to its creator-centric features, I think it's also great for gamers or more like gamers and content creators at the same time. So there you have it. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Action. So like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next PC build.